Hello everyone, um, I'd just like to share, um, so recently, or actually today, I've just, with the help of some Discord servers and some nice people, I've been able to create a Minecraft chunk generation script that makes voxels out of uh, generated mesh and it also uses Perl and noise. So, I struggled this for, a, for with, with this for a long time because I'm not the best, but I'd like to share it in case anyone else has the same issues. So if we press play, we can see what it looks like. You can also change the size in here because there's size size variables and scale variables. Um, and the good thing about this and what took me the longest to do was the fact that there's no holes in it and then there's also no extra faces. So there's not extra stuff being rendered that doesn't need to be. So yeah, uh, it works well. So I'm going to run through my code and how it works and then I'll also put it in the description because I don't want you to just take it, I want you to learn from it unless you already know. So these are all just the definitions for stuff that needs to go in. If you want to generate a mesh you need to make a vertices array or list, a triangles array or list and then UVs. Um, this create function basically just starts off everything, it gives an offset x and offset y. This is to randomize the Perlin noise, basically. Um, or actually, sh what should I, how does that work? I'm just a bit stuck here, I've been working on this all day, so it's just a bit confusing. Um, yeah, so it's two-dimensional Perlin noise, so it basically randomizes it. So, after that's done, it just initializes some of this stuff and it does build and update mesh. Let's have a look at build first. So you can see all of these functions here. All of these functions are for the different faces. So this one has the vertices for this face, which is the south southern face, which I believe is Z minus. Um, it adds the triangles and it has the UVs, and then it also increments this uh, these two arrays because you need to tr keep track of the amount of verts. Um, and then if we go down to the build function, what this does is we can ignore this for now. That's what I was using. Um, now, keep in mind, the current generation is not relative to the game object's position, so I can move this wherever I want and it'll still generate in 0, 0, 0. Um, these two if statements go off for the size, and it generates Perl and noise for each size, puts it into the Y, and then it adds it to this chunk block positions array or list. And what this list is for is it... it it basically contains all of the positions where all the blocks are going to be. And then once it gets all of the chunk block positions so it knows where everything's going to be, it builds the terrain. And there, this is not the neatest part of the code, so if, you're, if you have the skill you can clean this up. Um, but we've got six, one, two, three, four, five, six if statements for each face. Um, and it basically checks if there is not a block if there is not a block one like if there is not a block is plus one z of us of the current block if so if there isn't a block in front then it'll place a block it'll place a face because there's nothing in front of it so it needs to be hidden and you could probably understand this quite easily because it's a lot less complicated than I thought it was and this chunk block positions, or sorry, this um, check block positions function just returns if the chunk block positions array contains uh, pods. And that's pretty much how this whole chunk generation thing works. Um, I've taken quite a while to learn this, so I'm quite proud of myself, and the generation looks quite good to me, so I'm happy to share this with you guys, so I'll see you guys later. I'll put this in the description. I forgot to mention that when you've got, uh, when you want to use the script, you um, can make a game object, an empty one, and all it needs to work is some variables. So this is a good size, size if you ask me. It's a good scale if you ask me. The scale doesn't go with the terrain. So if it, if you make the size bigger, you'll have to make the scale bigger if you want to scale. Um, you add a mesh renderer with a material, if you like, and then a mesh filter, and of course the transform.